Well, at about 6-ish, six, six six, about 6 p.m. this evening, some security men invaded the premises of um, the Odilis, and the Odilis happened to be my constituents. I represent Rivers West Sanitarial District in the National Assembly. So we all quickly rushed down here to I mean, find out what was going on. And um, the security men who came specifically said they came from the Supreme Court, and um, you know Mrs. Odili is of the Supreme Court, and um, phone calls have been made and nobody has accepted they sent anybody here. And it's quite strange for a country that has so much insecurity, for security men to just invade somebody's premises because they actually went into the, the premises. I mean, like, it's, it's so, un, so, un, it's so un, uh, professional for them to do things like that, putting people, I mean, like everybody's already insecure in this country, you're trying to protect yourself. And then security agents just come into your house with a search warrant. They actually had a search warrant, which was properly signed. So which means they definitely knew what they were coming here to do. And they definitely wanted to execute it, yes. And unfortunately for them, the rivers people rose and other men of goodwill came and a lot of people came here and I mean, they just found that, of course, and thank all the pressmen who have been here. I mean, most of you have been here for hours. We really appreciate you for the dedication, your dedication to duty, because it is all of that that has made them to make a quick retreat. Well, I'll say this. We are shocked. Even the question when you say, what happened here? We can't really say what happened here, because we don't know what happened here other than a harassment by so-called security agencies of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, led by a major, on the all but one justice officer of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And it tells negatively on where we are in democracy today in Nigeria. Because they produced a search warrant with a wrong address, a search warrant with a wrong even street name. And the EFCC and the DSS have denied that they are involved in this, our question remains, we are even beginning to suspect a targeted possible assassination. We are beginning to suspect that, but for the 
But, but for the, the, I must commend the security agencies in this house, the security officers in this house, they, because they gained entrance to the gate. But they were effectively stopped. And they also left here claiming that judges have informed them to come back. This has never happened in Nigeria before. We know that there have been, uh, um, especially in Portacot and elsewhere, there have been, prior to this time, uh, 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 an insurgent. I, use, I want to use the word in quotes, insurgent on judiciary officers in Nigeria. We also know that before now, when a landmark judgment was delivered based on the rule of law and justice, there was a sort of siege in this area. But are we then beginning in this country to descend into the annals that are not against the rule of law? Is there no government in this country anymore? When independent judicial officers will be attacked in their own homes, and in this case, for no known cause, we are surprised. Do you think they have a decision? We just got information that this place was surrounded by some operatives, some colleague joint task force, some say EFCC. Some said police, some said army, by whatever name. And then um, I rushed here. Um, what is going on in Nigeria is something that should give concern, uh, source, that should be a source of concern to everybody. Dr. Peter Odili was governor for eight years. He did well for his people in this country. The Honorable Justice. Mary Peter Odile has been a justice of the Supreme Court for many years. After going through the Court of Appeal, High Court, and Magistrate Court, she has never involved herself in politics. So why would you want to come and search this house? Over what? So many insinuations. One, they were dead wrong to have come to this house. I've seen the search warrant. Okay, they came with the search warrant. The search warrant has no name. That's number one. Number one fundamental flaw. The search warrant has no name on it. A search warrant must have a name of the person that you want to carry out a search on his or her house. That's number one flaw. The search warrant has number nine. Imo Street. Imo Street. Metama on it. This address is not number nine. Imo Street. Metama. This is number seven. Imo River. Street, Meitama. So if they were looking for Imo Street, they should look for Imo Street elsewhere. There's another Imo Close, Imo Close nearby. There's another Imo Close somewhere, I think, in um, in um, Garki. But this place is Imo River Street, number seven. It's not number nine, Imo Street. So for that reason alone, they missed the point badly. Two theories. If one wants to give them the benefit of the doubt, one can say it was a genuine mistake, which was why they had to quietly, quickly retreat and withdraw. Contrary to the information online that just suddenly resisted any search. She didn't resist any search. I believe that they themselves must have found that they were committing terrible harakiri. That is giving them the benefit of the doubt. The other theory, which is also as powerful, is that it is politically motivated, deliberately contrived, as an artifice and design to embarrass 
this celebrity justice of the Supreme Court and to embarrass the husband. Of course, the husband is a well-known PDP uh, titan, and tomorrow is PDP convention. Could it have been designed to rake up issues and, and make it look like they were trying to go after him so as to demoralize the delegates for tomorrow's convention? That is another theory. But for whatever theory it is, one thing is clear to me. We are gradually moving towards the precipice of calling ourselves a banana republic.